This video is brought to you via the Fair Dealings Act. Fair use tennis reporting, education, criticism. Marta Kashuk from the hard-hitting Ukraine, the world's ranked 37th. Now, she will drop to near 30th after this match. I want to say probably around rank 32nd, her highest as a professional. Congratulations, Marta, on an amazing tournament. We've seen her beat some very tough competitors. She deserved every single dollar of this huge game check. She takes out Claire Liu, Elise Mertens, and Timo Fiva, but falls a bit short here against Corey Coco Goff, the future of tennis. Corey Goff, the fourth seed here, but she was pushed to the limits. Brad Gilbert cheering Coco on, telling her, stay focused, serve it out. And she certainly did that. Marta was a bit shocked. She made some mistakes down the stretch, but she played an amazing match. What about the first set, ladies and gentlemen? Marta was up 5-1. She had a chance to serve it out, but could not. She had two set points and failed. In the first set, how did Marta play? Well, listen, guys, she had several double faults. How about six double faults in the first set? She won 50% of her first serves, 41% of her second serves. Both ladies served horribly. Let's just be honest. Coco had five double faults in the first set, and that's Coco's mom. She was ch she was, she actually caught a ball that Coco hit. What are the odds of that happening? Unbelievable. Coco had five double faults in the first set. Coco would take the first set after saving two set points in a tie break. Coco even had a chance to serve out the first set after coming back down five to one. Coco showed insane mental toughness and mom was there as well as Brad cheering her on. Dad was probably walking the track somewhere nervous. In the second set, Coco also had a chance to serve out the set, which would have been serving out the match and Marta broke back. Now, Marta played very good in the second set, winning nearly 70% of her first serves to Coco's 45%. Coco lost 58% of her second serves. And Coco, guys, one double fall in the second set, not as bad as the first set in terms of serving, but again, she struggled to get her first serves. Now, a lot of people are wondering why is Coco's first serve and play numbers very low i told you she's she's really cracking that first serve she's trying to get aces she's trying to put her opponents on the back foot i think there's an adjustment period she's going through because she has strengthened she's beefed up upper body lower body the more faster ball she's working on the control the third set coco came out blazing five love she had a chance to serve it out for a bagel but marta broke back again in the third set, though, Coco would pull away. She still struggled to get her first serves in play, only 43%. But listen, guys, this was the difference maker. Coco Goff won 100% of her first serve points, 12 for 12. That's a difference maker in this match. Overall, guys, this was a very sloppy match. But I told you, Marta, this is going to be the toughest match that Coco had so far. Marta's very athletic. She's very strong. Now, I've talked in the past about how Marta does not have good stamina, and we saw in the third set she ran out of gas. Now, I also talked about how big and strong Marta used to be. Now, she's down about 10 pounds. I would think that's probably due to her stamina. She's trying to improve the stamina. Any athlete that's ever added on muscle or bulked up, you compromise something. A lot of times that's your speed. It's like imagine training. You know, we train with 30 pound weight vests and 10 pound ankle weights. Ankle weights. So imagine you know, walking around with an extra 10, 15, 20 pounds. When you're not used to it, it will, you know, reduce your stamina, your speed. So I, I think Marta's looking very slim. I think this is probably going to be her new playing weight. She's having a lot of success and she's still very strong and athletic. But like I said, Marta loves to come forward. You saw her win a lot of these points at the net over Coco, who's just the best defender by far. And look, Coco won her fair share of points. And, and you know, let's take a look at the net points one. Coco won 16 out of 26 net points, but Marta won 13 out of 19. That net was a insane battle. That was beautiful to see. Amazing. Overall, guys, 51 unforced errors for Coco, 56 for, for Marta. 
Only 17 winners for Coco. Now, I told you guys, she's using that forehand as a defensive tool. Now, she's not really attacking with it. When she does attack with it, she's coming cross court with it. But Marta, 39 winners, very aggressive. Marta played as best as you can get. Now, here's the thing why Coco's so amazing. She did not get tired in this match. Marta was gas in the third set. Coco, her stamina is insane. Now, she mentioned she eats fresh fruit. We, we all say she eats fruit because her mom as a kid and dad used to pack fresh fruit for her. She said, I don't do the gels. I don't do the fancy stuff. Just give me fruit. Now, you guys know I'm vegan. Fruit is electrical. Now, mixed with all that melanin in, in her body, that's what she needs to be eating. Fruit, high carbon, that's going to make her perform insane. And she knows. I think she gets it. Coco gets the victory, guys. This was a very tough match, and Coco did a little bit of dancing. The ladies hug at the net. That was beautiful, but Coco decided to put on a show. That's right. Shaking those hips. You go, young classy woman. Coco, two wins away from winning the Australian Open, guys. 12 is the magic number, but there's a question. Will Coco Goff have enough time to recover? She'll face either Barbora Kachikova or Arena Sabalenka. Will she be tired? Because she may not feel it now. We saw she wasn't tired in this match. But she might wake up sore. Will that affect her against Arena Sabalenka, who we're assuming is going to beat Barbora Kachikova? Should we be concerned for Coco? This was a grueling match. Can Coco recover is the question. Comment below. Coco Golf wins. Marta takes the loser's walk, but she's not a loser. She's an amazing talent. She played an amazing match. Congra All of the Ukrainian citizens have to be thrilled at the effort that Marta put forth. Marta is an amazing talent. And look, she might win a Grand Slam soon. Very soon. Tennis in a minute. Like the video. Show love for these two ladies. I'm excited. I can't even talk, guys. We'll be back.